Hey guys, it's Ann Frazier here with the Frazier team brokered by eXp Realty. And I'm sitting here with Philip Marinello and he works for Restoration One. And welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yeah, sure. So he's and thanks gonna, for watching. Yeah, right? He's gonna tell us a little bit about what he does. So tell me what oh, an overall view of what do you do? So Restoration One, we're full service restoration, cleanup and reconstruction. So big ones are water, fire and mold. Those are our big three. If you have a flooded basement, a pipe breaks, your toilet washing machine breaks, we clean it up and put things back together. Same if you find mold in a room or a closet or if you have a house fire. We also do um, biohazard crime scene cleanup. So that's oh, if there's wow. something ugly happens and needs to be cleaned up, uh, we do that as well. And then put everything back together. Um, we work a lot with insurance agent and property management just to kind of get people back together after a uh, catastrophe happens. What's the average, I know it depends on the size of the catastrophe, but what's the average time that it takes to get somebody put back together? Well, water is by far our most common thing and that's usually three to five days. So you have a sump pump fail, you have a sewage backup, you have your washing machine break and spray water all over your house, usually three to five days. Okay, and then if, if it floods like a hardwood floor, then that is another step. It's a little bit longer, but hardwood floors, we have some great machines that save you tens of thousands of dollars. If we get there in a couple of days and it's clean water, we can get you almost all the time back to 100%. Wow, that's awesome. Very good, very mm -hmm. good. How long have you been in business? A Restoration One is a national franchise. They've been around for quite a while. We've been in Kansas City for about four or five years or so. Very so good. we're building it up. Yeah, very good, very good. So you get phone calls when people are in desperate need. Yeah, right? uh, we're, we, we get the calls when something terrible happens. Right, and so somebody's like freaking out. I'm sure you guys are really good at being able to talk them through everything and-, and Oh yeah, all of our guys are trained. We, it's a little corny, but we always say we like to be the best part of a bad day. Mm. Um, this is our day in and day out. Usually a homeowner will have two or three events their whole life. This is our day in and day out. So we try to try to hold their hands through the whole process, let them know what to expect, let them know what we're going to do just so that they kind of feel like they have a sense of normalcy because it does happen. Right. Houses, houses break, pipes break, sometimes fires happen and just got to fix it. That's right. That's right. And we're getting ready to go into the holiday season. Yes. So is that a big time for you guys with fires? Yeah, two things. So Thanksgiving is the number one day for house fires of mm. the year. So be careful, obviously, when you're cooking mm -hmm. at home, but a lot of people who don't usually cook, cook on Thanksgiving and every year, Thanksgiving's the number one day for house fires. Oh my so goodness. just be careful. And then uh, this year here, especially in Kansas City, we're supposed to be having a pretty harsh winter, so we're preparing mm -hmm. for pipes to be breaking too. So right. make sure that your house, your basement's well ventilated and your pipes are um, insulated if necessary and make sure your hoses are unplugged outside. Right, good tips. Those are great tips. All right, wonderful. Well, anything else that you want to share with everybody or did we cover it all? No, I mean, just give us a call if you ever need us. I'm sure the, the information will be there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, just want to be there for when we're needed. Okay. Yeah, we'll have his information um, in this video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you know anyone that needs these services, fortunately or unfortunately, he's your man. So thanks so much for tuning in. Take care.